Hi there, and welcome to Tuesday Talk. Hopefully we're going to stay connected tonight. <laughs> Seems like my Tuesday challenge, we already had a little bit of that while I was getting set up, so hopefully it's out of its system and we're good to go. I'm really excited because I'm using Dixie Bell's transfers and decoupage paper for the very first time. So um, the ones that I chose to use, if you watch today's uh, Facebook Live on my La Vintage Decor Altoona Facebook page, I did an unboxing of all of the beautiful transfers and decoupage papers. The ones that I chose to, pre to bring home tonight to work on this project um, is the Ornate Blue Glass Transfer. And we're going to take this out of the package so you can see how beautiful this really is up close and personal. It's uh, blue. It kind of might give it a kind of a navy or a black impression on the video, but it's a medium blue. And I think I'm muted on there, but I still get feedback. Um. So here's what it looks like. As you can see, it's kind of transparent. And that's why I painted the box white first. So I'm going to tell you what, what I'm going to be working on. So that's one thing we have is the decoupage paper in the blue or uh, ornate blue glass. Then the transfer that I chose, actually Dee helped me pick this is the Latin floral transfer. It's so pretty. So they come in a tube and you just pop the top off just like lots of other transfers out there. Um, but I think what's inside is probably very special as compared to lots of other transfers out there. So it comes with an applicator stick. So we're gonna set the tube aside at the moment. And let's see what's in here. And then I'm going to tell you about our project. So inside, this is a four sheet transfer. Look how vibrant that is. It's so folksy and, and so pretty. What I think is really cool about these is that they are numbered. So this one tells you it's number one. You can see that. Um, not holding it in there. So number one, and then this one's number two. Um, so, and then three and four, it's kind of the same thing. I'm going to set three and four aside, and I'm going to work with one and two. Now, this is an all over pattern. And that's how it's meant to be used, put together like this. And we are going to use it like that, but we're also going to cut it apart a little bit because this piece is a little too big for what I need. So I'm going to show you how you can cut these apart and use them however you like. So here's my project piece. And what this is is a vintage um, silverware box. I'd love to open it and show you what it looks like inside. But I need to work on that off camera because I kind of uh, painted it shut. <laughs> that happens occasionally. Um, and then I almost tore the, um, the little handle off trying to get it open. So I'm going to work on that later. I need a little razor blade on the side. I did dry it, but apparently not long enough. Okay, and also I'm going to be repairing... On the bottom, it's missing two of its legs. So I'll be adding something on the bottom too. Okay, so I did give this two coats of silks all in one mineral paint in Oyster. So um, I like this color. It's kind of a gray white. It's very pretty. And I love the feeling of silk. It's just so nice. Um, I did, painted a furniture piece the other day and I used wax on it and I used the finishing pad in between coats. 
Oh my gosh, it's so silky smooth. It's just fantastic. I love it. So um, let's get started on this. And I'm going to go ahead and take the one and two sheets again. And so this design is going to meet in the middle. So we're going to need to get rid of that, um, that solid line in there. So I'm going to put the camera on the piece so that you can see a little better. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this border right here. Um, so we can put those two pieces together. So I'm just going to use my scissors and cut along this line. And then I have to decide what all I'm going to use on this transfer. I want to see how big it is and how big my surface is. So we've got one of them cut. So we can kind of hold this up together just to see how much of it is going to fit on the box. So I don't quite have it centered, you can see. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. That's the handle, so that's kind of an indicator of where the center is. But I'm just trying it on for size, just to see what all I want to use. So what I think I'm going to do is slide this down a little bit. And of course we're going to be using this part of the transfer. But I think, again, I'm going to slide it down towards the front. We're just sizing this up right now. I think I want to cut it around here, maybe here, and around here. Hmm. Um, I might end up cutting this little swirly thing off up here. Can't see it because it's off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting and see what we come up with. All right, so I, I know I want to cut this off. And I'm going to see if I can keep these little guys. They're like petals or something. And I want this part of the design. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to cut around there. Being careful not to cut into my design. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Uh, let's see what we have here. I think I'm going to end up cutting a little bit more, but we'll see. Okay, let me do the same on this side. I'm going to cut uh, what I cut off of the other one so that they're symmetric. I hope you're having a good week so far and enjoying the spring weather. It was certainly a beautiful day today. And of course, I live in Pennsylvania, so they're talking about snow tomorrow. <laughs> Not even kidding. Um, what are you going to do, you know? Okay, so we just kind of cut through that apparently before and we cut these out and then went on up here you're not seeing what I'm doing I'm sorry let me get my other one over here for reference okay so we came up here around the flower and we did not take this little petal Um, okay, and we came the whole way up here. 
All right, so we're going to set that piece aside. And who knows, we may end up using those. I'm trying to get this the best angle so you can see. I hate to start messing with the camera part of it because my luck, it will fall because that is my luck. <laughs> okay, so this is the front. Move it this way a little bit. Okay, so we're using this as a guide here, this uh, front piece. And feel free if you come on to say hi. Tell me where you're from, what you're doing this evening, besides watching me. Yeah, I'm going to turn this around to face me so that I can kind of line it up with this front. Um, I'll turn it here so you can see where I'm pointing but this front uh, handle. Okay. All right. Um, so that looks like it'll fit kind of nicely. There, there, I don't see any reason why I can't pull this down over the front of this piece. And then everything I've cut so far should fit nicely. All right, let's just do it, right? Okay. All right, so every one that I have um, watched on these videos that they have used other lots of other transfers before, and they're all saying this one's a lot easier to use. So. Um, we are going to find that out right now. So we're going to peel the back off. Okay, it's over here. We're just going to peel that backing away. And we're going to line this up. I don't want to to get to this other piece. <laughs> so I'll line this one up first and then we'll then we'll line that one up. Okay. You kind of want to make sure that you have it where you want it because you don't want to lift it back up because it'll start to adhere to the piece. So that looks pretty straight to me. All right, so let's go with it. So I'm just kind of pressing it down with my hand a little bit. And then I'm gonna start using the stick. I know you've seen me do this before. And of course I did use silk paint and transfers go on it pretty nicely. I'm just so excited because this is the first time using a Dixie Belle transfer. I love this design. Again, this one's called the Latin Floral Transfer. Now, usually when I do Tuesday talk, um, I end up selling my samples or the things that I do in the store. Um, so there's a little lip here. I'm going to try to turn it around so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to take the edge of the stick and press that down. And then take this side and work it. I'm going kind of over a curve here. And I just want to make sure that it adheres. And I can tell it is because it's getting real cloudy here or kind of transparent. And usually that's a sign that it is adhering.
I'm just going to lift a little bit up. Oh, yes, it's adhering nicely. I like to kind of peel up while I work. This really is a nice transfer. So if you pick it up and something doesn't quite adhere, just lay it back down and rub it. Burnish it. I kind of like to go around the edges. Okay, I lost a little piece here. So I'm going to come back. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I lifted that up and this piece stuck to the sheet. So I'm just going to lay it back down. And now it's transferred to the box. Okay, we're almost there. Gosh, this is transferring really easy. Now I'm going to turn it around a little bit just so I can see this front section. I'm just gonna take my hands and just burnish it down. And sometimes you can take this and just kind of use this. All right, so we have half of our transfer on. Isn't I always have trouble with where to hold things so you can see it. But isn't that beautiful? I'll also do full screen here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so you can see I have half of the box done. All right, so far so good, beautiful. Okay, so again, I'm putting it towards me just so I can see it to get it started. And I'll make the uh, screen solo so you can see that. Okay, so we're going to take the second half and peel the back off just like we did before. All right, now we want to be pretty careful because we are lining this up. We don't want to see any sort of line. That's why we want to be really careful. Okay, now I am really having a problem here because it's wanting to stick and I don't quite have this lined up right. But so far it's cooperating. Oh boy. Okay, a little piece came off, so we're going to 
work around this. All right, it's going to have to be close enough because we, that's the one thing that you really want to watch. <laughs> you want to make sure that you um, are not touching it to the piece before you want to. But you know what? We will make it work like we always do. And I'm just rubbing the transfer down. Doing the same thing where this crease is in the front again. Again, that's off camera, but I need to see it. So <laughs> kind of have to put it my way. These colors are so vibrant. What a cool pattern. Sort of reminds me a little bit of Peter Max designs, only it's a little more folksy than that. Um, if you remember Peter Max, I used to have folders <laughs> that I, my school school folders that uh, had his designs on it. He was really a an artist that used a lot of colors like this. Um, his designs were probably a little more psychedelic I guess you would say it was in the 70s so <laughs> but that's one to google if you never heard of Peter Max okay, I'm going to try to lift this up here I hate that when I say that I'm going to try to do that you know the expression about or it's not an expression but if you were to get on a plane and your pilot would say i'm going to try to fly us to denver today or wherever you're going you wouldn't have much confidence in him so tell yourself you're gonna do something not we're gonna try to do it Then you'll have more confidence in yourself. Let's do this. Right? That's self talk. <laughs> okay, I definitely want to hold this so you can see it. I did forget, I wanted to show you a picture of what this box looked like before I painted it. And I'm try showing you here. There. So that's what it looked like before I painted it. And it was actually in kind of bad condition. And this silk paint really did a fantastic job on it. Okay, back to the drawing board here. Okay, so I have this much of the transfer pulled up and I'm going to keep working on it here it's coming up really nicely okay now there i kind of pulled up a little too fast but i'm going to try to correct it here You know, I always go a little fast just to give you the demo so you're not here all night. But 
you know, take your time when you do these things. And you'll get a better result. But patience is not one of my virtues. All right, again, I'm pulling it a little bit towards me so I can see this a little bit better. And again, totally turning it around towards me. Forgive me for that. Okay, and it all came off. I just want to work this seam a little bit. And you can sort of see the seam, but it's okay. It's close. So again, there's a couple places that I messed up, but you know what I usually do when I mess up? Is use some sandpaper on it and give it a distressed look. And that's probably what I'll do. Because there's a little bit of scratching in there, probably, you know, through my own fault. So what I will do is give it a little distress. Um, before, I thought I had some sandpaper here. Before I do that, I'm going to let this uh, settle. <laughs> and then I may come back in later with the sandpaper. But... So far, I think it looks really pretty, and I'm going to show you full screen. There we go. So, so far, I think it's really pretty. I was considering thinking that I could maybe add some extra motifs on there, but this pretty much fills up the whole top of the box nicely. So I've got lots of other little flowers for other projects. So the next thing I'm going to do is use uh, the decoupage paper on the sides and the front of this box. So I'm going to, um, perfect, I'm going to put this in view. I'll do the split screen again and then do the solo. All this technology. Anyway, my, what my plan is now is I'm going to take and fill up this area right here, this area in the front, okay? So how I'm going to do that, this rice paper really creases easily. So I again, I kind of have to put this to face me just so I can see what I'm doing. I'll try to hold it up there. This shouldn't open up because, again, I painted it shut. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to hold this over here. Boy, that actually just about fits nicely. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. I'm going to take the scissors and get rid of this teeny line across the top here. So I'm just going to cut that off. I know you can't see me cutting it off right now, but trust me, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see. I'm just cutting this little line here off. Okay. Now I'm going to hold it up against here and see what we've got. Okay, so I have another big border on this side. This side's pretty good, but I have a border over here. So I'm going to cut that. But first of all, I'm going to line this up against the top here and see where I need to cut it off at the bottom. So I'm just going to use my fingers and crease this. And you'll see that I'll have a line. I'll just be able to flip this over and then I can I have a crease there so I can cut along that line. 
So I'm just going to do it over here because I need to see what I'm doing. But I'm cutting right on that line that I made a crease with my hands. Okay, so let's dry fit it. Okay, pretty good fit. A little extra over here, but then again, we have a little border um, on each side. So I'm just going to trim a little bit, and this is nearly perfect. But again, we'll do a dry fit and see if we need to trim any more. All right, let's see. That is really perfect. Okay, I'm going to hold it up so you can see. There. Okay, so that is, that's looking good, okay? So what I am going to use is Dixie Bell's clear coat, and I am using the gloss tonight. Um, the reason why I chose gloss was for one thing, because that's what I had open, <laughs> and another, uh, just because I used the silk paint, I just thought that that would be kind of nice. So I am just going to remove this a minute, and I'm going to paint this entire surface with the Dixie Belle uh, sealer. And again, I'm using gloss, and that's just a matter of preference. A lot of people use flat, and a lot of people use the satin. But right now, I'm just coating it. And this kind of uses, it takes the place of a decoupage medium like Mod Podge. Okay, so I, I have coated that with the sealer. And now I'm going to carefully place this piece. I'm going to get up so I can see what I'm doing. I also have my contacts in, and that's just, you know, never really a good thing. This I can kind of pick up and put down a little bit a few times, more so than a transfer. But I'm just kind of flattening it out over where I painted. I see I have a little bit extra here. I'm just going to trim that. I can wait until it dries and then use a razor blade too. I might do that because I don't want to mess it up. kind of folds under, but um, I'd like to trim it. Okay, so I'm just going to coat it with the, the uh, sealer again. Just want to make sure to cover the entire area. Now I may come in and paint this. I might paint the feet. Of course I have to add feet to the, the back part of it because they were missing, but I just might end up painting all of that. All right, I think that looks good. Okay. So I'm going to set my sealer aside. So I'm going to hold this up a second. I'm going to put it back on um, the full screen a minute. And you can see how that works together. I think it looks really pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments. See if you like it. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go around the side of the piece. So decoupage paper is really good for drawers and the sides of drawers. 
Okay, I could wrap it around the front. Hmm. There's a separation there, so I could do that, but then I'm going to have to match it up. So I think what I'm going to do is just do this side over here. Um, yeah, because I can't make it any longer. Some of the designs come in slightly longer pieces. These squarish ones are about a 12 inch square, not quite. Hmm, I'm still trying to decide if that's what I want to do. You know what? I think I am going to start it over here and take it around the side because then I can take it around the whole back of the piece. So again, I'm going to take this area here and trim off the edge because I want uh, to use that area. So I'm just going to trim here. If you're just tuning in, we're using Dixie Bell's decoupage paper, rice paper, high quality paper, and also Dixie Bell's new transfers. And I used the Latin floral transfer, and I'm using the ornate blue glass decoupage paper. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up on its end again and go, uh, I'm just gonna hold this up against here. I'm making sure I'm flat here. And I'm gonna crease it again. All right, sorry if you can't quite see what I'm doing here but I just want to make sure it's even. Okay, so let me put this down a minute so you can see what I'm doing. I just did a crease there and I'm just flattening it out and then I'm gonna cut along this crease. So you can see the crease when you turn it over. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this and then add it on to the front of my piece and wrap it around the side. Okay. So I have a piece cut and again I'm using Dixie Bell's clear coat um, and gloss to as a decoupage medium. Okay, I'm gonna stand up again and put this full screen so you can see what I'm doing. At least I hope you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, not real well, huh? <laughs> and I don't want to touch that side. All right. Okay, I think the best thing to do is lay it back down again. At least you can see it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do what I did before and apply this to my piece. And I don't think I would always choose gloss, but I just chose it this evening um, to show you that you can use gloss. And also because I used the silk paint, um, just I'm, I'll probably go over the entire piece then. I'll go over this with the uh, gloss as well. Okay, I'm gonna stand this up so I can see what I'm doing. Try to get it in your view. 
And I'm just matching this up and wrapping it around the corner. And you know, if you get a little, and there's a gap here because that's two separate pieces. And if you do get any sort of little wrinkle in here, it's not the worst thing in the world because um, it has, if you see the paper close up, it almost has a little bit of a wrinkly texture to it. So you're, you're okay if you get a little wrinkle in it. Now I have this piece just a little bit long and I'll probably trim it with a razor blade but I probably am gonna paint these legs too. So I'm gonna go back over this with the clear coat and seal it in. And again, with all my projects that I do on Tuesday Talk, I usually finish them the next day and then post them on my social media. Okay, so you can see that that is rapid, wrapping around the corner there. And again, I'm probably going to trim that with a razor blade. Okay, let's see. We've been on 42 minutes. I'm going to put this back around front. And I think we might wrap it up here, but I will tell you that I love the transfer. I think its colors are gorgeous. And I think this goes beautifully with it. And I'm gonna to continue to wrap it around the rest of the piece. And then I'm gonna do a few other things. I'm probably gonna paint this little handle here that you can't see that well. That'll make it stand out. And also the feet. I'll probably do those in a blue, or maybe I'll pick a contrasting color. Maybe I'll do plum crazy or something. Um, Cause the inside of it is sort of a plum color. And I'll get that open and you can see the inside of it as well. <laughs> but I think this is going to end up being a really pretty piece. And I am going to distress it a little bit with some sandpaper. And that kind of hides a multitude of sins. So remember that little trick when you do a transfer. If it doesn't turn out exactly like you wanted to, use the sandpaper. And then that way um, you it looks intentionally distressed. So I am super excited about these products and you'll be seeing lots more uh, projects and um, don't forget to tune in uh, to Saturday's video that I did with um, the Dixie Bell challenge bunch and uh, we all challenged each other to use uh, some similar products paired up and, and challenged each other so that was a lot of fun and i'd like you to check out all those videos and we're going to do it again and we're probably going to be using these new products so i look forward to that and we're going to be having some decoupage classes very soon at low vintage decor so stay tuned for all of that and I hope you have a wonderful evening and a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.